About an hour and a half northeast of Dallas lives a typical American family with a very unique backyard. They live on one of the largest remaining tracts of tall grass prairie in Texas, and they're working together to save what's left. When we purchased this land, it had been very overgrazed and not very much grass at all. We've been on a 20-year journey of patience, persistence, and perspiration. Okay, let's go check on the mamas. Taking care of the ranch is a family affair. Without everybody jumping in there and doing their part, we couldn't do it. Everybody is a great part of this whole operation. Come on, goats! Including some hungry goats. The family brought in goats to help clear the brush that was crowding out native grasses. I help my dad and my mom with the goats. My name's William and I'm 12 years old. It's just really fun because the goats are my size, so they're not going to overpower me, and it's just fun to be out there with them. As the grass improved, the family was able to transition the land to a working cattle ranch. My name is Christian Abel, and I'm 15 years old. Today we're moving the cows across the poly fence. They're going to be moving into a new pasture, which has grass for them to eat. If it gets a break, those grass plants will recover quite well. That's the way the system came to be with the large herds of buffalo that would come in and graze very intensely, and then they would leave and let the plants rest again. But we mimic that when we use rotational grazing and let those plants have a rest period. Some animal species were kind of pushed out when humans moved in, and we're trying to bring them back and give them a habitat that they can live in like it was before. Prairies have been known to have over 350 species. They're incredibly diverse. They are remarkable at flood mitigation. They can hold incredible amounts of water. And they're also incredible at carbon storage because of the deep roots of the prairie system. As they help the prairie recover, the Abel family has been generous in sharing it with others. We're entering the prairie ecosystem. The Abels have been just so incredible in not only the restoration work that they have done on this property, but the outreach that they do in their community to educate others about the benefits of protecting native prairies. The prairie you can't really appreciate from the highway or from a video. So are you doing well with your collection bag? You really need to Good. be in the prairie. You need to hear the prairie. You need to see the tall grasses. And it's really important to us to share what the prairie ecosystem is so that more people can love and respect the prairie. The Abels have put their ranch under a conservation easement to prevent the fragile prairie from ever being developed. As urbanization increases, as land fragmentation increases, this ranch will remain a grassland forever. The legacy I hope to leave for our boys is that even 1% matters. They can have an incredible impact on the environment by their individual actions. And I hope they understand that prairies matter.